Hi guys, just a, uh, I'm gonna try and do a quick tutorial. I had a request uh, to make some of the little journal add-ons with the pins in it. Or anyway, I was gonna try and show a few things. I don't really, I'm not really good at tutorials because I'm kind of, I'm not real fast at it. But anyway, I showed some of these and I made some of these and all I did was just cut this is part of a dictionary paper just a dictionary um, it was from Pinterest it was a free printable and I just um, you know made it smaller and printed it out because I knew I was just going to use it for you know something real small uh, and I saw, oh gosh, I can't remember the lady I saw made these. But anyway, like I said in it before, uh, I used a lot of this. Um, it's a good way to use up your, uh, your, uh, you know, scrap cardstock and stuff. So anyway, I just, you know, ink it up with some, I use black ink here. You can, you know, use whatever or soot. What do, what do you call it? Uh, yeah, black soot. It's because the print and stuff was was black and it's kind of hard to show up. Okay, there's that. And I also made these just some white cardstock I cut to fit into a piece of into a piece of this. Uh, this is also really lightweight cardstock. Um, just to use as a label on something. But anyway, there's my little piece. And I have no glue here. I have no glue. Okay, I hate to reach across in front of here, but we'll do this this way. Okay. And all I did was just put me some glue. In this case, I'm going to use this dry glue just for, just for, uh, and this is the bottom of the page. So I'm going to put it right like this. I'm going to scoot it over because I only want to cut one side of it and make it about as big and get it where I want it. Okay, I think that's good. Press it down. Of course, I got way too much glue on it. And uh, we zoom in a little more. Okay, and then all I'm gonna do, and I don't cut anything straight for some reason. It's just seems to be an impossibility for me. And uh, so we're gonna give it a try. Yep, crooked already. Okay. Anyway, this is just, maybe I can slide it up. There we go. Maybe I'll slide it up a little more. Yeah, okay, good enough. These don't have to be perfect. Okay. There we go. And that's all I did. And then I will just, you know, ink the outside of this a little bit and I'll just get here with this to dry a little bit and then what I'll do is just uh, let me just take one of these that is dry already and I did not ink these up but I'm going to use some brown ink on this one since I've got it open. Okay, and then I'm just going to see what I've gonna got here on my desk, which is a bunch of scraps. Um, let's see. I've got some numbers. I've got some Okay, let's see if I got any words made. No words made. Okay. 
I should have made some words. Not bad. Okay, so we'll do a word real quick. Same thing. Same thing with the words. I just cut me a word off. These are fiddly little things sometimes. And of course, I didn't cut it straight as usual. Let's see if we can straighten this up just a little bit. I mean, like I said, they don't have to be perfect. They're going to look great. You know. I think I'm going to leave that there so I have something to... And then I'm going to ink this up before I glue it on a piece of cardstock. Next time I cut these out, I'll, or next time I print them out, I will do it on cardstock. So I won't have to do this, but like I said, I already had a great, just a regular eight and a half by 11 sheet of them. So you can imagine how many was on it. So once again, just a little, let me see if this will work. A little Scraps, just scraps of cardstock, and that'll fit perfect across the end of it. So, no, no big thing. So, once again, let me just use this glue here. Let me just run this across that. Yeah, since it's so little. Just run the glue across it. And then he will just slide this on as close to the end as I can get it. That way maybe it won't be so crooked. So see how that turns out. And then I'm just going to cut it to the size of the paper. Okay, and then there you see, you can make a ton of these out of that little scrap piece of paper. It's just, we can't keep it all. I know we can't keep it all, but I decided I'm going to make these up and then I'll have them. And then, uh, you know, because you know how it is. It's easier to use stuff like that when it's already made up, when you're in the middle of a project, you know. So anyway, I'm just going to ink this up a little bit where I had to cut it. Now I left a little corner of this up here just a little bit longer. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this one here that we made, and I guess I'll put this on here. And I need something else. I've got charms, but they're too big for this because this is very small. Very, very small. Let's see. Remember I told you guys I had a big bag of these little bitty punch outs and I mean they are some of them that are extremely small. Let's see if I can get one of these little butterflies out of here. How about a little pink or a beige? Let's see what we can get out without taking all day. There's stars in here but I, I don't know. I'm not much haven't found anything much to do with them yet. Maybe, maybe another day. Oh, I'm going to put that on away in the bottom. Yeah, here we go. I can't believe she punched out all these things by hand. I can't get it out of the bag. Come on. Here, right there. Come on. Well, Okay, here we go. So I am just going to ink this up a little bit. It's a tiny little thing. It's a little butterfly. So small. But what we're making here is really, really small. Okay. Alrighty, there we go. Now, I'm just going to put that on that. Except I think I'll poke a hole in the little little corner of it up here and then it can hang kind of sideways so 
All I'm going to do now, let me move my little my little book over. This is a just a thing I use to put stuff on so I can poke it. It's just a, a phone book. I mean, I don't know anything else to do with them because who uses a phone book, right, anymore? So I just take my little pieces, and you could do these separate, together, however how you want to do them. And then I just use my pokey tool. I just use my pokey tool. Or this is my pokey tool. It's really a bead, a bead reamer. And let me put all this up here. So you can see. Let me move this over some. I'm hoping you're seeing. I'm, it's hard for me to see in my camera. And then I just poke a hole in it. Like that. There's that one. Same thing for this little one. I'm going to do it in the corner. A little more space there so you can see my word. Okay. Okay. And then turn my butterfly over on the right side. And I guess I'll just do it right here. Looks like a good spot. Because I don't I want it to hang a little. I don't want it to hang straight. Okay. Now, all we do, and I have a pen that I already opened up, and I put these on the way I want them to, to finish, so put this one on first, and then I want my word on next, and you know, you could put a little, a little scrap of uh, lace on this too, to be honest, would look nice, that don't want to go in, let me see, okay, here we go. And then I'm just going to last my little butterfly. There we go. Okay, and then we just close it up. And there we go. So, yeah. And I mean, honestly, it didn't even use a lot of scraps. You still have... I hope you don't have like a massive amount because you'll never use them up making these things because they just don't use a lot I mean you know so anyway there's that one and then there was this one right here that I made that I was gonna do that I had this little purple tag and I cut out this little I had printed out some some botanicals and this was a boo-boo on, um, anyway, that I had this left, just a little piece of it, and I just cut it out and put it on some cardstock to give it some strength, and uh, I had this purple tag, and I thought, well, that'd be cute on that, and then I had this little word, create, which I done it just like I done the others. Uh, so, yeah, it's the same thing here. That Of course, that's already got a hole in it. So I don't have to poke a hole in that. This I have to poke a hole in. So I'm just going to poke a hole in the top of this one. Like so. Make sure it's big enough. They don't look very big. You see all these little places where I poke stuff? These are great though for uh, um, for when you're like you know, sewing your signatures together to open it up uh, and put your signature, your papers in it and uh, then you can poke a hole you know, where you're gonna uh, sew your signatures and nothing moves and I always keep this, this is so handy this little, this little one and it's a small size too, it's not like a huge phone book so yeah, it makes a big difference I can keep it on my desk, so anyway Okay, here's just a little purple tag, and then the little flower. I don't work a lot with these colors, but they're here, they were pretty, and they work. I don't use them, somebody else might want them. So anyway, there's that one. And I mean, there's just scraps, and here's a little piece of, uh, I mean, this is a little piece of, of lace that 
probably would get, you know, would just be normally thrown away. And what I was going to do, let me see what I got here. I got glue on everything, that's for sure. I set the glue stick up so yeah, that's smart. Uh, okay, let's just uh, take a, here's a tag, a hyphen of a tag. Well, no, let's do this one. It's just a little square with a little background. I mean, you can stamp these or, you know, whatever you want to do, whatever color you want. But I think I'll probably use it this way. I think I'm going to put this on it. Because I was just going to throw, you know, like I said, that little scrap probably be thrown away. And then I want to put something else on it. Uh, how about something like this? It's laying here. Yeah, let's just put that on it. And just, we won't put a word on this one. I think I will ink that up, though. Let's just ink this one up. Because it's a... I printed out a whole bunch of these little different uh, things. I was, it was a, just a misprint. I was trying to uh, domino size, but anyway, these are definitely not domino size. So, anyway, uh, it's just a misprint. And I'm just, and they're really pretty. They were printed on like photo paper or something, but anyway. What I'm going to do here is, I'm just going to see if I can, we don't need to poke the lace, lace is easy. I'm just going to use my pokey tool, poke a hole in that, which you definitely don't want things in the middle. I don't know which way this is upside down. Okay, I think it's supposed to go this way. Poke a hole in this. And this is a bead reamer. But it it works great for a pokey tool, and it works great if you use it for a bead reamer too. Cause I use beads and stuff. So anyway, all right, that's it. And I mean, these were just things I had in a little basket for my scraps of and uh, okay, I can't get this one. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to put this one on first. Let's see. There we go. I mean, you can stamp these. You can, like, maybe put some little lines on it or something. And this right here would probably be great. You can make it look like a postage stamp. Uh, put this one on. No, I'm going to put my lace on it. And there's no problem if you put something on wrong, you could take it off and put it back. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it like that. And then put this on. Okay. And then there we go. And you could put a word or you or you can go back and if you you know whatever you decide because I'm gonna do these words up and I'm just gonna put them in a little bag. So yeah, there we go. This one, this one, and this one. See how easy these are? So yeah. Uh, any questions or anything? I'm gonna stop now because I don't want to, you know, bore you guys too much and take up too much of your day. Because uh, I know everybody's got other videos and other things they need to do, but. Uh, you know, leave me a comment. And if you have any questions, like I said, I'll be glad to answer them in any way. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye.